Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Beat. The word I read was B-E-A-T. Beat. So the correct answer for example 1 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 1. Example 2. Park. The word I read was P-A-R-K. Park. So the correct answer for example 2 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number one. Number one, cone. Number two, slick. Number three, bane. Number four, none. Number five, sprang. Number six, pass. Number seven, goose. Number eight, plat. Number nine, kirk. Number 10, fraud. Test 2. Listen carefully. This test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Seeds. The word I read was S-E-E-D-S. -E -E Seeds. So the correct answer for example 1 is B. This is recorded by shading answer space B against number 1. Example 2. Bent. The word I read was B-E-N-T. Bent. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. It is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 2 on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11. Why? Number 12. Bathe. Number 13. Home. Number 14. Gird. Number 15. Debt. Number 16, through. Number 17, pass. Number 18, sax. Number 19, is. Number 20, letter. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. 
Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Watch. The word I read was W-A-T-C-H. Watch. So the correct answer for example 1 is D. This is recorded by shading answer space D against number 1. Example 2. Slime. The word I read was S-L-I-M-E, slime. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 3 on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Number 21, suave. Number 22, crime. Number 23, daily. Number 24, stutter. Number 25, dim. Number 26, collect. Number 27, cattle. Test 4. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. He couldn't play. The sentence I read was sentence C. He couldn't play. So the correct answer for example 1 is C. It is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2. This team has power. The sentence I read was sentence A. This team has power. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading as a space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 4 on your answer sheet. Start at number 28. Number 28. He said pride. Number 29, spell glass. Number 30, I spelled weather. Number 31, I said wordy. Number 32, the word is dirt. Number 33, spell the word nest. Number 34, they said scaring. Test 5. In this test, the word you will hear does not appear on your word list. That word only rhymes with one of the words on the list. Example 1. Listen to this word, pet. Which of the four words in example 1 rhymes with pet? The correct word is set. The other words do not rhyme with pet. The letter written against set is C, and this is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2. Listen to this word, 
sing. Which of the four words in example two rhymes with sing? The correct word is wing. The other words do not rhyme with sing. The letter written against wing is D. And this is recorded by shading answer space D against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test five on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35, sky. Number 36, heat. Number 37, bill. Number 38, you. Number 39, sentry. Number 40, diction. Number 41, tell. Number 42, fragrant. Test 6. We're now going to hear some questions and answers. The questions will all be different, and the answers always the same. You have to choose the one question which goes to the repeated answer. Here are two examples. Example 1. Who borrowed your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did John borrow your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did he steal your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. The great answer is C because... He borrowed my newspaper. Answers the question. Did he steal your newspaper? This is recorded by Shady Answer Space C against number one. Example two. What is the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. Is London the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. What country is London the capital of? London is the capital of Britain. The great answer is A because... London is the capital of Britain. Answer the question. What is the capital of Britain? This is recorded by Shady Answer Space A against number two. In the test which follows, you will hear only the answers. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test six of your answer sheet. Start at number 43. Number 43. Ajuma is their father. Number 44. Nana is 80. Number 45. We must watch our diet. Number 46. She's a careless cook. Number 47, a cause is fat. Number 48, you will buy this car. Number 49, John eats cats. Number 50, they dug a well. Number 51, he complained to Doris. Number 52, Molly left off the stage. Test 7. You are now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct? Shade the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. You said the exercise was well done? That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is therefore statement C. 
This is recorded by Shading Asset Space C. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. Akoma is level headed. Show. Number 54. Yao has won the competition. He has. Number 55. We must attend. Yes. Number 56. Shall we? No. Test 8. You're not going to hear a short conversation between two speakers, a man and a woman, in a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will play to you twice. Immediately after hearing each of them, you will be asked two questions. From your question paper, decide on the correct answers. On your answer sheet, shape the space of the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation What did you dream about? How can I dream when I'm not asleep? Reminds me of the game, Abebu. What's that? Progress competition. Oh, that. Is that not rather outdated? Definitely not. From Proverbs, we get to know the philosophy and values of a people. The Proverbs contain truths about life because they come about as a result of a keen observation of life. Yes. Yes. Most importantly, because of the testness and beauty with which Proverbs are framed, they appeal to and develop people's imagination. You won't say that developing one's imaginative skill is old-fashioned, would you? I wouldn't. But you see, people use proverbs to cast aspersions. Not always. But proverbs are short and contain vivid images that can be used to advise people in just a few words. Remember the saying... A wise child is spoken to in Proverbs, not through long speeches. And if he doesn't understand? He being wise will understand. The one who will not understand is a charlatan who foolishly broadcasts gossips and rumors. Oh, so Proverbs are useful after all. Very useful. Listen to the composition again. What did you dream about? How can I dream when I'm not asleep? Reminds me of the game, Abebu. What's that? Progress competition. Oh, that. Is that not rather outdated? Definitely not. From Proverbs, we get to know the philosophy and values of a people. The Proverbs contain truths about life because they come about as a result of a keen observation of life. Yes. Yes. Most importantly, because of the testness and beauty with which problems are framed, they appeal to and develop people's imagination. You won't say that developing one's imaginative skill is old-fashioned, would you? I wouldn't. But you see, people use proverbs to cast aspersions. Not always. But proverbs are short and contain vivid images that can be used to advise people in just a few words. Remember the saying, a wise child is spoken to in Proverbs, not through long speeches. And if he doesn't understand? He being wise will understand. The one who will not understand is a charlatan who foolishly broadcasts gossips and rumors. Oh, so Proverbs are useful after all. Very useful. Number 57. According to the conversation, number 58. From the conversation, we learn that narrative.
Let's think about the admonition to turn the other cheek. Well, I understand this to mean not literally to turn your other cheek whilst the other one is still hurting from the earlier slap or the slapper to give you another dose. I believe it means one should behave in a mature way. When you behave maturely, you look like a fool initially, but in the end, you feel great. Imagine being insulted by somebody you can beat three times over. What's the normal thing to do? I'm sure you'd say, show him where power lies and give him the beating of his life. But you are wrong there. That is too easy to do. The difficult thing to do is to forgive the person and possibly advise him. How do you think he will feel when you do that? Initially, he may think you are foolish, but upon reflection, he'll come to respect you for exhibiting such self-control. You'll feel good for maintaining peace through your maturity. Difficult, you may think, but not impossible. So, which would you choose? Landing behind bars for at least 12 hours for beating up somebody who deserves it, or displaying dignity and teaching a lesson on peace and self-control by your maturity? I would go for the latter. Yes, I would. There are too many important virtues in the world we need to be concerned with. Peace, peace in particular. That comes about by turning the other cheek. Always, but if not always, often. Listen to the narrative again. Let's think about the admonition to turn the other cheek. Well, I understand this to mean not literally to turn your other cheek whilst the other one is still hurting from the earlier slap or the slapper to give you another dose. I believe it means one should behave in a mature way. When you behave maturely, you look like a fool initially, but in the end, you feel great. Imagine being insulted by somebody you can beat three times over. What's the normal thing to do? I'm sure you'd say, show him where power lies and give him the beating of his life. But you are wrong there. That is too easy to do. The difficult thing to do is to forgive the person and possibly advise him. How do you think he will feel when you do that? Number 59. According to the narrative, Number 60. In the narrative, we learn that